This video is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Well, last we left Max, he was doing what he does best. Usually killing people who want him dead. He doesn't just kill. Well, he, he, I have him kill innocent people, but he normally wouldn't do that. Oh, well, no one will ever know. We can just say that they got killed by squeaky cleaning. And the importance of having these two guys with us is that they will cover us from the window if I can get outside of the window without falling off. And I'm actually going to quick save over here. Because, uh, yeah, just, you know, in case I fall off. What's cool about the sniper rifle is that it has a slow, timey bullet of awesomeness. Which, uh... Oh, what? Pfft. That's shenanigans. Also, I think one of our guys just died. Anyway, this guy's about to be... kennedy -ed. Yes, he was. Now, before I jump into this... Alright. I know it may be slightly annoying, but... If I'm gonna do jumps like that, I'm probably gonna quick save because I'd rather not die and start over. Okay, we are going... I guess I guess that looks right. I mean, can I? Okay. Damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> That's exactly why the stupid thing fell. Oh, fucking getting shot from all over the place. All right, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these guys out if I can. We're okay. Here's one guy who doesn't see us, and there's another guy. I caught him mid dive. That is awesome. Oh, come on, what the f Damn. Where you at? Oh, how, how does he see me? I can't see- no, whatever. That guy can go screw himself, I don't- I don't care. Yeah, I, I still can't see him. Oh, to the well. And... okay, I made it. Now where's this guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah, aiming from this high up with a tiny little dot reticle is generally not the best thing to do. <laughs> and he just got ran over by his own van. Go Desert Eagle! Damn it, Desert Eagle! <laughs> oh great, now I died with that guy on me. Or vice versa. Okay. This, this is slightly annoying. I won't be able to kill that guy mid dive, but I like how they're. Oh, apparently, shot to the arm doesn't kill them, which is is understandable, I suppose. I and mean, it's not like super far fetched, I guess. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna take out the Uzis for this. And we will hop down like so. And we will just oozy the shit out of this. Yeah. And then the van takes off and all the dead guys and guns slide out. Silky smooth and whatnot. And I believe that's the end of that level. Like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. Innocent people got killed. You didn't do your job, Payne. To protect and serve isn't just bullshit hype. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Cognitti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. 
but that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Okay. So, we'll go to Mona's address, which I'm pretty sure isn't her house. A linear sequence of scares. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. Yeah, I remember this part. Like most games, this game has several annoying parts, but I don't think this is it yet. At any rate, let us head into darkness. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. Yeah, this is like super cheesy fun park of cheesiness. Where this guy just like ran into a wall and I can't I don't know if this is fake blood or real blood. Oh no! What have you done? Alright. Let's get down here and there's a phone we can answer. You must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. Yeah, okay. That's this is the greatest fun park ever. At any rate. There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! And now we're caged. There's been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. And a bunch of crazy cardboard. Crazy people. Uh, okay, come on, get out of the way. I feel like messing with these stupid things. One of these fills up with blood. Which one is it? Oh, this is the one that fills up with blood. <laughs> okay, way of sneaking up on you. Okay, you hear broken echoes of it everywhere. Like Football charge. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. I'm gonna go with it's too lame to be funny. Alright, let me out of this stupid thing. <sighs> Eventually some enemies pop up. Also, this... God damn it. This thing spins you around, so it can be really annoying if you couldn't tell. Like, a right there. This is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Yes. Have this our choices he. been made this for us because of who we are? Welcome to the next level. <laughs> it's crazy! Insane. God, if I ever had to go to a park like this, getting warm. I think I would kill when myself. I first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. And oh no, where do we go? We go over here. And into this window. For some reason, there's like this really popular song in that. I don't know. Oh, I guess that's why they won't open. Also, I'm gonna turn this TV off because there's a really popular song in the Max Payne world. I don't know if it was ever like a real song. It plays during the ending credits, so they obviously recorded a real song, a real version for it. But like everyone sings it in this game, 
The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her.